there's a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area for which we call the jib-jab zone. The duck is not going to work. Hey, what is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? Mr. Joe, the video? Oh, my precious. Yo, man, let's 
get out of here. Where to your mother? Okay, so Jowls is like a completely original story about this cop dude named uh, Cody <laughs> and this shark dude named Jowls. <laughs> so one day Jowls shows up and is all like, <laughs> and this one girl's like, <laughs> and then everyone else is like, <laughs> so then this pirate dude named Squint's all like, I'll catch the shark. But the mayor's like, Me. oh, and then there's this one really cool shot that's all like, <laughs> So anyway, then Jowls trashes the stock, Cody yells at his kid, and these fishermen catch Jowls, and they're all like, Hooray! Until the smart dude Cooper tells them it's not Jowls, and they're like, Hooray! And the mayor's like, Meh. But come 4th of July, it's like, Hooray! all over again. So cop dude, smart dude, and pirate dude set sail to catch Jowls, and at first it's all like, Show me the way to go home! But then Jowls shows up, and it's like, <laughs> Then they try to fight him with barrels, and Jowls is like, <laughs> Then they try a cage, and Jowls is like, <laughs> And then Squint's like, <laughs> And then the boat's like, and Jowls is still like, and the cop dude's like, smile, you son of a, and then Jowls is like, <laughs> oh yeah, and this one time they're all like, you're gonna need a bigger boat, true story.
once there was this old wrinkled jerk named Scrooge who was always like, bah humbug. Even during Christmas, he was like, bah humbug. So even when everybody was all happy and full of the Christmas spirit and like, Merry Christmas, he'd still be like, bah humbug. So soon enough, the ghost Christmas past shows up and is all like, Ooh. then the ghost Christmas present shows up and is all like, Ooh. and finally the ghost Christmas future shows up and is like, hey, I'm the ghost of Christmas future. You're dead, Tiny Tim is dead in the future. Sorry. So all these time traveling ghosts make Scrooge realize that he's a jerk. And instead of being like, ah, humbug, he should be like, Merry Christmas. So he runs outside and he's like, Merry Christmas. And he sees his nephew and he's like, Merry Christmas. And he sees beggars, Merry Christmas. And dirty orphans, Merry Christmas. Finally, he goes to his assistant Cratchit's house and he's like, Bob, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to let you go. <laughs> Just kidding. Merry Christmas! And Tiny Tim is like, God bless us, everyone. And everybody's like, Aww. And the angels are like, Aww. And that's pretty much the best Christmas story ever. The end.